Teshe Kula. The food of Turkey is undergoing a renaissance. Authentic flavors are being rediscovered and celebrated throughout the country. Many of them classic dishes based on the amazing properties of wheat and flour and doughs, even pasta doughs. Turkish food historian Ozdi Samanchi is part of this revival. Today we will do mantı. Mantı is a kind of what we can say Turkish ravioli. And it's a very old dish. The earliest recipe for mantı is from 15th century. The printed cookbooks in Turkey starts in 19th century. And before the 19th century, we have cooking manuscripts. So these are 16th century Ottoman bread makers. It's really impressive. I've never met a food historian before. I find it quite interesting. I never met also a world famous chef. <laughs> tall, very tall. The yeah. world's tallest chef. Mantı dough is prepared with egg. So it's less a bread dough and more a yeah. pasta dough. Yeah, yeah. There's no yeast in it. Then. No yeast. No. Okay. Yeah. Now the object here is to get this as thin as possible. And round. Yes. And round and make it delicate. These sort of techniques. It's very hard to write about them. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I mean, you can give the basic details, but you have to develop this from, from touch, from doing it exactly. yourself. Exactly, yes, you are right. More and more uh, in Turkey, especially in big cities like Istanbul, there's an interest in cooking by Turkish women, and Turkish women now they rediscovering their own cuisine. A lot of people are turning to food and cooking as a, as a way of relaxing, as a hobby, as an it's antidote true, exactly. to a very stressful exactly. life. Life is different now. It, it moves very quickly. Yeah. You know, that's part of keeping the tradition alive is the sheer joy of it, really. I mean, if your aim is just to eat, it'd be a lot more efficient to just cut yeah. some big noodles, <laughs> make some meatballs, and you're done in five minutes. And unlike any fresh pasta I've ever seen, the manti are traditionally toasted before they're simmered in water. Yes, yes. That's really interesting. I've, I've not seen that before with a with a ravioli of sorts. Right? Yeah, now look at that. That, that is just so interesting to me that they're, that they're little browned raviolis. <laughs> All the time I've cooked yeah. pasta, it never occurred to me to brown it first. I and I just you. know it'll add flavor to it. The manti is traditionally topped with garlic flavored yogurt, olive oil infused with chili peppers, and sprinkled with mint. All of this flavor to finish a simple pasta dough of flour and water. I came here to learn about bread, and it turns out that bread is an excellent way to study the cuisine, the food of, of a culture. Yes, I mean, bread angel. can be so simple, but at the same time, bread can be so complex and show so many things exactly. about a, a yes. culture and a food. And I really do feel like I've gotten a great sense of Turkish food simply yeah. by thinking about bread. So thank you. I thank you. Cheers. I thank enjoyed you. it. Thank you. Nice to meet you. That was amazing. Yeah, you like it. Just amazing. So now I want you to try a very traditional Turkish drink, which we call boza. Boza? Yes, which is made of wheat. It's made out of wheat? Yes. They keep it in water for one night. They boil it, and then they add some yeast. Like a beer or something. Like a beer, in a way. Yeah, he's going to give us fresh. Oh, look at that. Uh, in around 16th or 17th century, they banned alcoholic drinks in Istanbul. And then people started drinking more and more boza. It's really good. It's very fruity. It's good with cinnamon. It's taste here. And lots of people like it with roasted chickpeas. And just when I thought I'd seen everything you could possibly do with wheat in Istanbul, along comes boza. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. To boza.